Ladies and gentlemen and members of the press, I'd like to present the new generation of Nassau astronaut, the average American. Jim Wallace, Associated Press. <clears throat> Is this a joke? Well, far from it, Jim. is how I got you to respect me. Homer, when I met you, you weren't an astronaut. You didn't even know how to use a touchstone. But I still respected you, and I always will, no matter what. Homer, you already dialed. One of these men will prove space travel is within the reach of the common man. Toby Hunter, Minneapolis Star. No, really, is this a joke? No, Toby. And no more questions about whether this is a joke. Oh. Sir, the TV ratings for the launch are the highest in 10 years. Yay! And how's this spacecraft doing? I don't know. All this equipment is just used to measure TV ratings. Uh, question for the barbecue chef? Don't you think there is an inherent danger in sending underqualified civilians into space? I'll field this one. The only danger is if they send us to that terrible planet of the apes. Wait a minute. Statue of Liberty. That was our planet! <laughs> it's a lovely day for a launch here live at Cape Canaveral at the lower end of the Florida Peninsula. And the purpose of today's mission is truly, really electrifying. That's correct, Tom. The lion's share of this flight will be devoted to the study of the effects of weightlessness on tiny screws. Unbelievable. And just imagine the logistics of weightlessness. And of course, this could have literally millions of applications here on Earth. In everything from watchmaking to watch repair. Boring! Oh, no! The battery! Now, let's look at the crew a little. They're a colorful bunch. They've been dubbed the Three Musketeers. <laughs> and we laugh legitimately. There's a mathematician, a different kind of mathematician, and a statistician. Make it stop! <laughs> no, not another boring space launch. Change the channel! Change the channel! I can't! I can't! <laughs> oh. We're just about to get our first pictures from inside the spacecraft with average, not Homer Simpson. And we'd like to... Ah! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've just lost the picture, but uh, what we've seen speaks for itself. this entire world geared and oriented to one single job, get the crew home.
You know that Easter vacation trip we had planned for Acapulco? Uh-uh. Procedures? Go. Control. Go flight. There might be a slight change in destination. Really? Maybe, say, the moon. <gasps> Booster. Go. Retro. We're go flight. GNC. We're go. And I take the controls, and I steer it around. FAO. We're go flight. For a nice, soft landing on the moon. Better than Neil Armstrong. have a problem. We're looking at less than 15 minutes of life support in the Odyssey. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. Odyssey, do you read me? How long does it take to power up the limb? Three hours by the checklist. We don't have that much time. 